What is the best way to negotiate for buying or selling a property? Wow, this is the most important and the crucial factor. In fact, it's an art and a science. When you plan, let me start by saying how to buy a property. When you are looking to buy a property, obviously you have a certain budget with you. Let's say for an example, you have a budget of 3 crores. So when you want to buy a property worth 3 crores, you are going to first consult with a broker and tell him that you have a budget of only 2.25 crore. But you will be happy if the apartment is nice to raise another 20-30 lakhs. So in short, you have given him an indication of 2.75, 80, you know. Whereas you already have a healthy budget of 3 crore. This is the first step. Because if you say the broker, I have a budget of 3 crores. And he is going to start showing you flats 3 crores, 3.50 crores, 3.25 and nothing below 3 crores. So it is going to be a very tough decision for you to make. And hence the buying process will become a bit irritable. Because you will be getting everything above 3 crores rather than below it. So the first thing to keep in mind is always downplay. If it is a 3 crore budget, you say 2.25, 2.50. Say that I may increase my budget, but I don't know if I like the apartment. So keep this in mind. Always underplay when you are buying an apartment. As far as selling, if you are a client and you want to sell your apartment and you know the market value for it, is 3 crores. In this case, you have to pitch that same property at 3.50 or maybe 3.70. Because mind you, all the buyers who want to come and look at your property, they are wanting to negotiate. So they will want key if it is if your value is 3 crores and you have pitched it at 2.75. So they are going to always want to negotiate more at least 20, 30 lakhs to feel good. So if you want 3 crores in your hand, you pitch it at 350 or 360. But that's important. Always overplay, mark it up when you're selling a property. This way you land up getting your price because you have a brokerage also to pay. You have a lot of incidental costs which are there, registration, stamp duty, obviously that is going to be paid by the uh, buyer. But if you are going to buy it, then obviously you have to consider those costs also. So remember these two ways of dealing in negotiations. Many other factors are there that stick to your set price. Please be very careful when you quote a price to the broker in today's market. That is why again I say choose the right broker experienced broker, educated broker, one which is of the same wavelength and don't approach a broker who is into leasing apartments to sell your apartment because that broker is specialized only on renting and leasing apartments. He doesn't know the ways to negotiate to sell or buy an apartment. And as far as, and always look for brokers who have experienced in buying and selling. When you are planning to do that, when you are planning to rent, that time these lease brokers are fine. But most of the cases what happens, the broker just because they are greedy or maybe they just want to make a quick buck on you, they will say, no, 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 we are able to do that, we will be able to buy it for you or sell it for you, whereas they don't know anything about this game of buying or selling. So this way you will end up losing your time, money, energy. So please choose your broker in the right manner, especially when he has knowledge of selling and buying or leasing. And there are few brokers and few companies who know both about leasing and both about buying and selling. So they will depute you the right person when you plan to do this. Thank you.